So three years ago, I made a guide on how to make a resume in React. And since then, I've been told that the library that I used is no longer functional uh, for its original purpose. And along with that, I just thought of a better way in general to achieve the same outcome. First, what I'm gonna do is teach how to make the resume in HTML or React. And then I'm gonna explain why it's better than my previous version. So what we're gonna be doing is creating a component in HTML or React uh, using CSS to style it to the appropriate size paper so we can print it out later. And then we're gonna run the HTML app using Live Server or the React app using uh, React scripts. Then we're gonna use a feature within Puppeteer that allows you to export PDFs to a file. And for those who are interested in the React version, sit through the HTML version because that's basically the same thing. So why exactly should you do this? Well, I created my resume previously in things like Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, and I was getting really frustrated with uh, how difficult it was to uh, be precise with it, have absolute control over everything. Um, if I wanted to modify something, uh, it was annoying or expanding on something in the future. And as a programmer, I wanted to make a single change to my resume using like a variable or something and see the changes instantly rather than doing things like shifting items one pixel down only for me to not like it and undo those changes. I also wanted to put my resume live on my website where people could download it as well. So here are our requirements. The PDF must be highlightable uh, and parsable using typical ATS software. Uh, the links must be clickable. It also has to do things like export the icons or pictures that we have on there and it also must be able to use custom fonts. So to start, we're gonna create an empty HTML document and creating a div with the ID of PDF. And next, we wanna style this with CSS to determine exactly what the size of the document should be. And at this point, we should also make the body background gray or some other colors so it's clear where the PDF is. Puppeteer is gonna export PDFs at a default resolution of 96 PPI. This means that to match a standard letter size, we want to use uh, 8.5 times 11 uh, multiplied by 96, which returns uh, 816 pixels wide and 1056 pixels high. Uh, we also wanna make sure that the body padding and the margin are zero. Finally, I also include a few extra things in my header like Font Awesome through a CDM and a custom font that I like to use in my resume. And at this point, uh, you can fill out the entire PDF using regular HTML or whatever JavaScript that you want to make it easier. Uh, and for me, I just kind of did it all in basic HTML because it was easier uh, for the example, but in reality, I would split it into a bunch of components. But what's the point of just making it in HTML? We wanna put it on our website and have other content around the resume. We don't wanna just have the entire website be the resume. So my solution for this was to have like a query parameter that enables a resume only mode that's to be used during a Puppeteer's export step. So for this, we uh, create a new URL based on the window location, and then we grab out the query parameters using the URL search params class. Uh, note that this class does not work with Internet Explorer 11. So if you wanna make your website work for that, then you're going to need to write out your own uh, code for that to support it. Next, we just get the query parameter, and then we just remove the element uh, based on that. So Puppeteer has a variety of use cases for opening a browser page and doing stuff with it through code. And in this case, we're just gonna be opening the page that you just made and outputting it to a PDF. First, you're gonna wanna run your HTML using Live Server. Uh, and to do that, you first install Node.js, initialize a project, and then npm install Live Server and Puppeteer and create a basic JavaScript script to run. So you run the HTML with live server, and for this, I'm using port 3000 uh, just to match React, but you can use whatever thing you like. You can also name your HTML file, whatever you want. And the entire script is as follows. Uh, first, you're gonna wanna import Puppeteer, and then you want to launch a new Puppeteer browser, then create a new page for it, and then go to the HTML page that you just made, make sure to include the the resume only query parameter, uh, and then you just call page.pdf to output it to a file. We're gonna wanna use the format of letter, 
and then finally just close out the browser. It's that simple. Now you have a PDF that you can upload anywhere and you can also include a download link on your website for. Now the React version is pretty much the exact same. I just created this quick app using Create React App and I reordered some stuff from the HTML version and this is basically it. As for my fonts and my font awesome, uh, I put that within the public index.html file, um, but you can just as easily import it within your React code in other ways that you see fit to your use case. Then you just do the exact same thing as Puppeteer with the HTML app. So why exactly is this better than uh, the PDF export with Kendo that I had in my previous version? Well, there's a couple of reasons here. One is that you can run this on the server side to produce a PDF instead of relying on things like client-side calculations. Uh, you can run it on a cron job maybe, or uh, you can just do it once as you're uploading the application. Uh, there's multiple different ways to do this. Kendo UI's PDF export, on the other hand, is completely client-side. This means that whenever the user clicks on the download link, it runs through all the calculations to produce the PDF and then it gives it to the user. Usually for things like this, you want this to be run on the server side instead so that it's in a controlled environment so that there's less room for bugs to pop up later on uh, as a result of another company's software. The PDF that's produced is what's given to your users. Uh, similar to the last point, uh, you know what the PDF looks like because you get to control how it looks like. Um, you produced it and that copy is what's going to be given to your users rather than something that's uh, done client-side and then it could have bugs that you don't even know about. It's just easier in general. So with my Kendo UI way, uh, my methods weren't really straightforward. I had to do a lot of roundabout things to get things like the SVGs to appear correctly. Um, but with this, it's very straightforward because Puppeteer literally just takes a snapshot or something of the page and it's just easier. Anybody with basic knowledge of Node.js can follow along and it's not limited to just React. Hopefully this helps somebody. Uh, I spent a lot of time making the code for this and producing an example that worked. Link for that is down below in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe, like the video, hit the bell icon. I'm going to be producing more uh, educational content like this in the future. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.